Ugh. Happy face. Big B, have you slept yet? Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. No, it's too He's pleasant. Got it's gotta be something tongue. worse. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. I fly you catcher. Come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. She if oh she has the ribbon on okay I'm gonna say who the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, flycatcher left his keys. Sheriff Wolf, thank you very much. Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Did you get stressed in the back of the line, oh, goddammit? Right. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. If you're gonna stick around, can you at least try and be more stealthy about it? Goddamn. Like, Jesus, shit. You're gonna get me in trouble again, god. Ugh. Why is everyone so frustrating right now? Oh, Gowan! Jesus! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> we only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. I tried to help. Fro uh, I almost said frog. Oh, I tried to help Toad. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, ah, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Don't be a dick to him. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's yeah, no, no matter way what, to say goodbye. What route so you take, Toad you and TJ have to go. To the farm, no matter what. So... Which yeah. I believe is so we can keep uh, comic book cannon. And she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, cause when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. All right, thank you, Clementine. Love it. I'll give she it to her later. It pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> yeah, you'll be safer there, TJ. Don't worry. A lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? Toad, I'm trying to help. Shut your fucking All mouth. Set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B, where's your friend, Colin? At the farm. Where's a fucking pig? 
Just say he did the farm, dude. I know. Saying goodbye. Couldn't get like an enclosed van, dude. Like people are gonna see him that way. Hi. Hi. Why are you still wearing that? You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... I'm not gonna take it off. That'd be a dick move. That's for her to do on her own. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. Would you? you You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the you turned them in, that didn't you? Just to silence someone who had physical evidence. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out. Okay. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything, and I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. And yeah, you were trying. I, I get that much at least, but trying to protect them. Yeah. She was gotten rid of the picture. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then, oh god. <laughs> and then we know what happened after that. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told yeah, you... Yeah, wait a minute, it's not the not same the thing you said man. earlier. Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Well, what's done is done. Yes. We can't take it back now. What's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. And I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. Yeah, you're trying to get my attention. Trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's not true. It is. Big be cares more than anyone else. Before, but now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. 
We don't see that a lot these days. Yeah, I don't know where we stand at the moment. I don't know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given Well, thank you. You flatter me, but... And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Dun dun dun. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. So, if some of you are wondering, there's an ongoing... I'll read it in a minute. There's an ongoing rumor. Not rumor, or... Uh, not rumor, but, um... An ongoing, uh... Theory. That Nerissa is actually Faith. And that... And that, um... The, the Faith that we found was actually Nerissa. Because they've established before in the past that these girls, um, they would take each other's shifts every once in a while. And then they also, you know, they have the glamorous that look like other people. And so there's a, a running theory that, um, that Faith has been impersonating Nerissa the entire time. And that Nerissa's the one that died and we never met her and she's been Faith the entire time. Uh, I don't know how much I believe in that. I like the idea. I don't know how ac how faithful it can be, and I honestly don't think the if we ever get the next game, I don't think we'll ever find out. Which is one of those open ended kind of things. But uh, yeah, anyways, decisions. You and thirty one point four left Georgia, Georgia to die. Well, you know what? He deserved it. You and eighty nine percent brought the crooked man back alive. Cool. You and forty seven forty seven ah forty seven percent of men of men of people chose to imprison the crooked man. I'm talking like Steve Harvey and, and fucking Family Feud. Uh, you and 98.5 decide to accept TJ's gift. Who is the 1.5 that said no? And you and 54.8% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. Well, now. Oh, well, we got more. Okay. Uh, you lied to him about seeing beauty. Promised her you wouldn't tell Beast. Fought him at the interrogation. Gave him a drink, helped him to avoid the farm. Took him back to the witching well, imprisoned him. Took Dee's money. Gave her money, left him to die. Took money from George's safe, fuck him. Gave Greenleaf a job. A drink with Grin. Didn't save Lawrence. Uh, I guess made Snow happy, I guess. Tiny Tim did that for him, and all that random shit. Oh my god. Why oh, that's so loud? Oh, alright everybody. That's gonna be it for The Wolf Among Us. Um, as I've said before, I still... I still really enjoy this game. Uh, I know it has its rough, its rough ages. It could do better in a few places, but no, overall still a pretty good game. In my opinion. Um, and I just really hope that in the next in the next few years that we see something from the supposed sequel game that we were supposed to be getting. Uh, I know there haven't been any updates lately, but I'm, I'm sure the the pandemic hasn't really helped with the uh, production or development and all that. 
But like I said, I, I hope I hope we hear something from it because I want to see more. I I want to I want to play more with Bigby. I really want to try and get into the comics. I've just been stacking up on that front. Um, and for what we're doing next, uh, we're still working on Batman. I'm still uploading uh, Princess Evangeline uh, every other weekday because I don't want to flood my channel with you know three three videos every day. I don't want to do that. But um, next for, for 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 our next full focus playthrough. Um, I've decided I'll be playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, cause it's been a while since I last played, since I played Human Revolution for the channel. So I figured it'd be a good idea to go ahead and move on to the sequel, which is a game I have never finished. I played it for a little bit, and I never finished it. So I think it'd be a good idea for me to finish it for the channel. You know, get my, uh, my, my raw, live reactions and impressions to it as I go through it. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. I'll probably start that sometime in the uh, in the upcoming week. And I need to find time for more Batman. I might do more Batman tomorrow. We'll see. And we've reached the credit into the credits already. Well, guys, we're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Um, and I hope I hope you guys come with me to see our next playthrough. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great night. Hope you guys get plenty of sleep, stay healthy, eat well, and I'll see you guys at our next session. Bye-bye.